And this is a Churchill charity, which is all focused on, on Winston Churchill because it's called the Winston Churchill Memorial Trust. Shirelle, they seem to be backing away from the guy. Yeah, they've even changed their name from the Winston Churchill Memorial Trust to the Churchill Fellowship, and they've removed every single picture of him on their website. And, and the sun, even... you can see, sorry to, to interrupt yes. you, but you can see the sun loves this headline here. Our woke, <laughs> they've obviously been building up for this for, for ages. Our woke is down. Sorry, go ahead. And they've even got uh, a racial disclaimer on their website, um, obviously pertaining to the fact that there was a racially prejudiced aspect to his character. I think it's getting ridiculous now. We seem incapable of understanding that people, including heroes, are complex. And there's no doubt this is a man who had incredible political judgment without whom we would never have won the war. But there seem to be people who are hell-bent on removing him from history. There were blunders. There, were, you know, there are dark episodes in his legacy, like the Bang Bengal famine. But for heaven's sake, this is getting yeah. too much. Nina, where are you? Because I should oh. say the charity have, have done a sort of spokesman. We are proud of our connection to him and his contribution to saving the world from Nazism. At the same time, some of his views on race are widely seen as unacceptable today. I, I think it's absolutely ludicrous, really. I mean, it, 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 it's, it's, it's nonsensical. I mean, not only, um, you know, are we sort of almost a century, you know, forward from when he might have held these views and, and, and what he might have done. Times were very, very different then. And what he said or what he did would have been perfectly yeah. normal, acceptable. He wasn't stepping out of line with anybody. And although that's not acceptable today, a hundred years ago we're talking about. And, you know, if Churchill's not one of our greatest heroes, then I don't know who is. Mm. What, what do you think, Anne? Yes, they've gone too far. It's not like um, Sir Edward Colston in Bristol, who, you know, made all his money from, uh, in, you know, transporting millions of slaves. Um, Winston Churchill is still remembered by many people alive today. He only died in 1965 and he was a true hero. And my mum and dad's generation always said, if it wasn't for him, we would not have got through the war um, and the Nazis would have won. And I think so many people in the world feel that. that it's not the same. I understand the need to be worth and to, to look at uh, the things that people have said in the past. But heck, not to Sir Winston Churchill. He's an entirely different character. Uh, and I think, as Shirelle said there, heroes are complex. He was an imperialist and he did hold views that are uncomfortable today. But heck, it wasn't that long ago he saved us. They're going to get a lot of cancelled subscriptions, I think, from their, you know, their particularly older customers.